finding the voices. Talk show by Monica Ingudam. A huge fan of finding the voices. You're doing a great job for Manipur. Manipur bu prithi vida masatak pa. Good positive uh, voices and you know make those voices more visible. Budget yeah. our voice to reach in all the corners of the world. Finding the Interesting voice. people. In finding the uh, finding voices on people from our own place. Share positive stories and inspiring stories and bring all the good stories of Manipur. Finding the voices. My name is Lashwamina Devi. This all was, uh, I think, 12 or 13 years I'm staying in uh, Delhi. Mm. Now, like, it's not easy, like, staying in Delhi and stuff for more than 10 years. Like, uh, I did my schooling in the, the Bodhya Vidyale, that is in Manipur, mm. Kumbong. Kumbong. Yeah. Till then, I was there. After that, I came in Delhi and I did my uh, 11 and 12 here only. Okay. And after that, it was a very tough time for me. Okay. Like it was, I don't know, like what are these? Yeah, like though, like in uh, schooling, I have like lots of do competition and everything, but I don't know the way. Like, I never thought like a painting should be a career. Mm. You know, I never thought about that. So when I came here, so I was working in the time, like CCD, I was working as a waiter in the time. Okay. For I think it's around for six months. After, after that, your twelfth, <coughs> yeah. Okay. The after that, I went to like after that, I left uh, CCD and I work in the barista. Mm. Maybe at around one years. Mm. <coughs> so, <coughs> at the time, it was a life was so tough. I don't know, like, I don't know about the care and thing, and the problem was there that at the time, uh, my brother was only working there and uh, in Delhi. Yeah. In Delhi. Okay. And so I before we go into that, can you give me a yeah. little bit background about your parents? Yeah. And where you grew up in Manipur? I grew up in uh, Tera. In Tera. Yeah, oh, Tera. that's very close yeah. to my house. Yeah. I, I I am from Kwakatel. Okay. Mm. That's it. So like uh, I, when I was in class eight, I lost my father. Oh, so okay. Experience. So it was not easy for my mom to like look after like uh, I have two brothers and one sister. Okay, so, so you have yeah. four of you. Yeah, four and of you are us. the third child. No, I, yeah, I'm the youngest. Oh, yeah, the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have two older brother yeah, and one, one elder sister. sister. Okay, yeah. and your father passed away because of uh, uh, BP stroke. Oh, okay, I'm so, so sorry. So after that, to like, that. Uh, it was very tough for my mom. I can see, I can feel everything. And your mom is working? No, she's housework. Oh, so it was like very tough financially very tough, and very tough. Okay. And after that, it was luckily like one of my uh, elder brother. He's working in super stop somewhere in the like. Mm. It was a small job, but still like looking after like three kids after that. So, mm. so like uh, my mom is actually a tribe. Mm. Tankul. Which tribe? Tankul. Tankul. Yeah. Okay. And, and your your father is a Mekdai. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have any culture like that. Okay, you have to go this and that. My mom's Christian and mm. my father's a Hindu. Okay. So it's a very good thing for us. Like we are, uh, they give me whole freedom. Mm. Nothing like that. Like there was no force and there was a yeah. lot of tolerance nothing, and uh, nothing like respect that. for each other's uh, for each culture, other, religion. Everything. Mm. That's the main thing. I think it's related to everything related to my painting. Mm. You know, like my mom's Tankul, uh, my, my dad's Maite, and we live in Kabui, Kabui tribal. Kabui. Oh, in, in Tera there yeah. is the Kun. Yeah. The Kabui Kun. Yeah. It's oh, I should like go and Aramji. see. Aramji. Yeah, Aramji. Okay. Kun. Okay. It's so, like, we stay there. Really. And my one of my aunties, so, like, um, she married to uh, Kabui. Mm. So, we live together. Okay. It's so, like a whole community in one place, you know. Like, in childhood time, we don't know, like, what is tribe, what is my day, nothing like that. We, mm. like, eat together, we play together. So everything was in, you know, like, something very lot of harmony yeah. and peace was there yeah it's, yeah, it's still really there still in yeah. Tera. yeah okay so like uh, i think it's a good memory also mm. after that you know like my father passed away then you this were in eighth standard yeah i was in eighth standard mm -hmm. then after that my second brother went to delhi two of my brother they stay in delhi mm. 
mm. so much mm. it's not easy mm. it's not easy that even at the time was you can't get you can't ask money at the parents so i need to buy a paper i need to buy everything you have to buy like mm. paper pencil color and everything mm. so i thought like why should i if i got the time for two months i should work mm. I'll, i can use that money to buy the material mm. so how much you used to earn when you were working uh, as a waitress it, at the time it was Seven thousand five hundred per month. Yeah, okay. eight thousand a mil in between that. Okay, okay. So at the time, also when I was in first year, I have like a health issues, so lots of. Mm. I got operation, blah, like everything. In the first year, to it almost I was an absent. I was working at home only. Mm. So I have like operation this and that, but I work hard. lot like mm, you didn't give up didn't even give with up. all the within the first year in the uh, bfa there's four year scores mm. in the first year i was in third position mm. then i thought how many students were there in your class it was i think around 40 you know 40, 40. Yeah. okay around so 40. even with the absence you got third position third position mm -hmm. then i thought okay let me try this is not what i want mm. then in the second year i try like I do. Mm. Paint your the best. whole night. Then, then again the second year, I got the second position. Mm. Then I said, why <laughs> cannot I be first position? Mm. I can do anything. Mm. They also like we are human. We are all s like mm. the same. We got the same time and everything. Mm. So why should I cannot be? Mm. Then I work hard again, again in the third year. I got the first position. Mm. But the problem is in the third, fourth year. It's all you have to include all the number first year, second first year, third year, then then it. it They add everything yeah. up. Though in the fourth uh, year, so I worked. I just like now that I'm not going to live. I have to take it. Mm. <laughs> you know, the I had like like day and I whatever I give like lots of time for the painting whatever I have to do it do it mm. and then the, at the last I got the first position also for overall. For for overall. Okay, so it's a four year course or yeah. three years? Four years. Four years. Yeah. Okay, then after that, what did you do? After that, I apply for, uh, you know, like in the after. Still, BFA is very easy, but in a master, you know, they have limited space, like seat. In Jamia, so it, I think it's only twenty. Mm. And uh, in the College of Art, they got that also twenty seat. Mm. But in College of Art, that it's a very famous, you know, College of Art. Oh, all over from India, it's come for the admission. Mm. College of yeah, Art, Delhi College, College of Art. Yeah. Okay. I think at the time, maybe around six hundred, seven hundred people come over there. Mm. So I I give board I applied you board of applied for board, board okay then. before like I got in Jamia also mm. and I was waiting for that college of art also mm -hmm. now in college of art uh, after that I got it in college of art also mm. after that I said why well, I'll go for the college of art mm. you got in board and you chose Delhi College of Art because it's more reputed and more you reputed wanted and they have the market also that's the thing okay. they promote. Okay, they promote they the promote. student. No, the like work. in bachelor is fine. It's a basic thing you have to learn. It's a good thing. But in the master, we need your own creation, your yeah. originality will come out, and they'll promote your work. Yeah, all that's right. Something. So that's why you chose. I choose. Okay. And it was a good experience also in the college uh, of art. So it's a two years. Yeah, it's course. a two years. Okay. Course. So, uh, yeah, they do every year. They do exhibition also. So they call up all like buyers. promote the gallery mm. so this is a good thing mm. that they promote mm. but in jamia the problem is like it's a good for the bachelor but not for the master mm. there's nothing means the teaching is good but you need the support from uh, people and from other uh, art gallery to promote your work so you felt that the delhi of delhi art college has a better uh, uh, infrastructure and yeah. people over there Monica I'm finding the voices. Finding the voices. Finding the voices. Finding the voice. What down with the air force gate gate is so tight that it's a little bit of a imagery had no idea that. I could see my father. <coughs> who came to meet my headmaster because he was unable to pay. Sorry. <laughs> Because we need such story for people to have faith in the government and the system that yes it's working 
Let's bring peace in our home state, Manipur. Who have got uh, the job without bribery, mm -hmm. they'll do justice to their job and they will help raise the standard of Manipur. When did you pass out your master? 2000? I think it's 2013. Yeah. 2013, yeah. okay. Mm. Okay, then after that, what happened? After that, I, I was like, Till now, I'm working as a freelance artist. Okay. Yeah, before that, I was, I think, after the master, yeah. I was working with some, you know, like commercial work, like a copy work, mm. something. So money also sometimes it's important yes, to buy and everything. Yes. So we have to go through this one also. Mm. Because, uh, like, main score for me is that I don't want to work as a, you know, like a teaching, mm. uh, like whatever school job. That okay, is you not went. My dream, so yeah. your interest was not in teaching, but you wanted to pursue painting as a career. Yeah, as okay. a career, and like, the thing is, I want to explore myself. Also, the thing is, I need the time for myself also mm. to, to understand myself, like what I can do for the painting and how something, mm. something. For that, is I need time for myself also mm. to analyze myself, mm. to do the experiment about the painting and everything. Mm. And I have like. After that, if I know myself, and if, if I get what what I, I want, mm. after that, I still like planning to promote young artists also. I want to uh, like uh, call all the famous artists to the Manipur also. I want to do the workshop. I want to interact them with the local artists also. I want them to exchange the idea also. Mm. So lots of dreams I have. Mm. So for that, I can't work in a school and like, mm finish my whole life with that. Mm. So for that, I now I have to struggle. Okay. I have to like, I have to be like stand on my feet and the Delhi first, mm. like wherever in India, wherever. Mm. After that, I'll go back to Manipur for mm. definitely. Okay. But it's not like uh, going back there and I will be a teacher, nothing like that. I want to like you know like interact all the like I want people to know like and what an artist can do. Mm. I want to like bring all the artists, famous artists to Manipur, whether it's nationally or internationally, and work so work together, exchange the idea, debate, discussion, mm. the possibility of the painting and everything. Mm. So who, like amongst the painters and artists from Manipur, who inspire, who, who gives you inspiration or any of their work you admire? In Manipur? Mm. I don't know exactly <laughs> what that. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. Okay, uh, so what about like any from anywhere worldwide? Like who? Worldwide to lie, yeah. Which I have yeah, which artist do you? For me, it's like uh, one artist is there, Amrita Shigil. Mm -hmm. She's one of the famous artists in the female artist, one of the first female artists in India also. Mm. I like her work, and there's one another lady, uh, Saros Gogipal. Mm. She's a very good friend of mine also. Like mm. she's staying nearby, and we used to like, like talk about the art and everything. Mm. Give she give lots of energy to mm. be a strong woman. You know, like you have to stand yourself. So you have to work hard. You have to understand yourself. Mm. Throw out whatever you want. Need to paint it, put it in the paint, whatever. Mm. So she give lots of mm. uh, good energy, positive energy. Mm -hmm. So like. I really like her, so in mm. her work and everything, inspiration. Uh. Okay, so from your painting, I have been following your work mm. and um, I really like it. Um, I think I am very uh, happy to see young artists from Manipur coming out and through your painting, in a way you are showing our uh, culture, clothes, uh, in different aspect. Um, so if you can share a little bit about your uh, aspiration on, you know, what do you, um, I guess, from your inner thoughts? Because I can see from your painting that you are very interested in <laughs> children. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. Uh, yeah, so if you can share a little bit about uh, your. Yeah, that's it. Like, it's, the thing is, it's whole connected 
about my life experience, you know, like, mm. moreover, there you can see every painting, there's not even the one, I mix up every, the, you know, like, what you call the motif and everything, mm. the, every tribe, I mix up in one painting. Mm. So there's lots of, you can see lots of tribes in there. Because mm. for my childhood, there's one thing, like, my mom is Tangkul, my dad is Meiten, I live in Kabui. Mm. So at the, at the time, it was not, we don't know nothing about tribe also. We never said you are a Kabui, you are Tangkul. We we just think like we are all human beings are same. Mm. We eat at the same plate. Mm. There's nothing. At that, me, that childhood memory was so pure, you know, so mm. pure. Very different from Very what different. is being portrayed right yeah. now. Very different. The image of Manipur, especially between the hills yeah, and uh, valley. Mm -hmm. mm. So even even now we also like we now as we grow up. The mind is polluted. Now you have to adapt where you stay. Mm. Now even in Delhi also, like it changes your tone, everything. Mm. Like uh, even if it was a good experience, I need to share. Like right, right. In the, in Manipur, like nobody people shout it. Like it was everybody respect to each other. We speak politely and everything. Mm. When I came to Delhi, <laughs> I thought, what is happening? Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. Mm. So it it, it totally changed my tone also. Like I started like talking to the octo driver and everything because i have to now defend to yourself yeah no, i, have no, I to. understand what you're saying to, like one day my sister came after like vacation that i was talking to the octo driver mm. my sister was saying what happened to you mm. you was not like that in manipur mm. what's wrong with you mm. then suddenly i realized like it changes because of the environment mm. because of the society or thing change mm. so even like it's come in the childhood the childhood it was so pure but as so you grow. want to share the pure experience yeah. you had in your village, I mm. would call it Khun, mm. right? Uh, where like a lot of different tribes and different ethnic groups are living in harmony. Mm -hmm. um, respect, f I guess like uh, when you are referring to not shouting like in our community generally, even if the elders would tell something, we don't shout back. Yeah. So th I guess that's what you are yeah. telling. And then yeah. suddenly you come over here and you feel like okay for everything you have to defend yourself yeah that's true mm. so so i like it's something life the childhood life is something we can go back mm. but that time it was so pure you know mm. like nothing no worry about the future <laughs> no worry about the society no worry about the money mm. nothing is there it's like bird like free flying mm. so i really want you know like go back to their life but it's not possible but still i feel it and when I converted in the canvas. Mm. So you can see the face, you like it's innocent, right, you know, right, everything. Right, right. Even though like we are <laughs> when we are childhood, like see the picture mm. and see now you yourself the mirror. Mm. How life changed mm -hmm. and how our reaction changed, mm -hmm. how the face changed, mm. everything changed. Mm. But that moment mm -hmm. was so pure. Right. So, so you want to bring that moment yeah. out through your painting yeah all right so do you want to pick up some of your painting and talk about it uh yeah this one also it's good this is your thing yeah yeah that that memory this one is very you know like it's very refreshing and it's something good experience for me so mm, when you were small yeah. like we all look forward like for your son yeah even at the time also like uh, now uh, you know what you call like going like mm. like Siki, Makai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they doesn't work. But yeah, now people, uh, I think minimum five rupees. Not or five ten rupees, rupees, even now certain ten rupees. At the ten time, rupees. like even like you know, like Siki also like. Yeah, Makai also also <laughs> happy. It was so happy. Yes. And like it's just something good. Like we, I think one good thing then is. Then my mom will make that sangao. Whole year, whole years we don't expect that like, we're gonna get the new cloth, nothing. Mm. Like, but in your sangdo, you like you feel like sitting and you say like uh, now I, I'm gonna get the new cloth, mm. new jewelry, everything, mm. new <laughs> purse. And then once we get it and like you just wear the cloth and you go like let's go for the nakha then grouping. Mm. But something very nice, you know. Like mm. It can't be happen, but it's <laughs> very nice. You know. That's another one. Mm -hmm. Thai na kano. พี่ชาบะกี้มะนี่ชาบะกี้อืมอ่ะเดี๋ยวคุยปิ๊งไอ้ชาดักตระมาจามาจามาจามาได้วีเฮวียูสตูเพลย์ไลค์วีชาด
I don't think nowadays nobody used to do this one with kids. Mm. So that's, I don't know, that's so you are reviving like the childhood uh, phase. And you know, like uh, even me and my mom, we have very compli complicated relationship. Mm. So something I don't know how to explain now because it's almost I was staying in from class six to ten. I was staying in hostel. Mm. After that, I came here. It's almost many years. I like cut off from my mom. You know. mm. why, why is that? It's nothing. I mean, like how to say? Like now, we don't have a topic to discuss. More mm. than how are you? What do you have eaten? Like you don't feel that deep connection. I Be have because. No, I mean to say because you were separated for a long time Nothing. and you don't share the daily yeah. um, happiness and pain. Nothing, that's it. But we have the feeling. Yeah, you have we the feeling. We don't know how to express now. Mm. It becomes, you know, hesitant, you know, like feel like uncomfortable, you know. Mm. So even I just wonder, I want to, that's why I, even I want my mem memory like childhood to go back and want to like want that connection again mm. sometime but I feel like now it's been calling like her him uh, her so even though we don't have not more than two minutes we don't have nothing mm. to discuss about mm. so it's something very painful for me mm. so but I think that is uh, I would say generally in our society particularly in Manipur we are very poor in expression very very poor. and um, I can completely understand what you're saying because even though we feel deep in our heart, I think we lack in our expression, both in verbal as well as, as in writing. Um, and my father actually passed away recently, so it's one year now. Mm -hmm. And during the grieving period, I realized that I was very close to my father because we used to write. Mm. And um, in his memory, actually, I. Um, started a greeting card series because I wanted to um, encourage expression and I think um, only when we share our deepest pain or happiness um, we feel more connected that's true. <laughs> that's true so timely since you have brought that up I thought I'll give this to you um, at the end um, but this is a greeting card everything in this greeting card are created by me. I'm not an artist, but mm -hmm. um, all the work I have done is from my heart. Um, and it's a sample. So what I want to do is actually the next series, I wanted to invite all the artists mm -hmm. of Manipur mm -hmm. and uh, make a set of greeting card. And we would definitely give the credit behind. Mm -hmm. So that way we have uh, a way of promoting the artists of Manipur mm -hmm. and also um, give a chance to people to express by using our greeting card and the proceeds will go to a charitable organization so right now the charitable organization what we have selected first is the palliative care I don't mm -hmm. know if you know about palliative care but it's a palliative care society is a society in Manipur wherein they volunteer and take care of um, patients who are near death mm -hmm. like they are suffering from diseases wherein um, they want um, um, like there is no cure um, so people go volunteer and uh, make their situation both physically and mentally a little better mm -hmm. um, so that's what we have chosen but of course with addition of new greeting card we would identify uh, you know more organization mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so since you have <laughs> spoken about expression I want to uh, invite you to write to your mother I think um, your mother can read right yeah, yeah. Um, you should write about what you feel um, because I know that talking is more challenging so write about what you feel and give it to her and I'm sure like you your connection level will improve and let me know how it goes but this Thank is for you, you. <laughs> you. I think it's a good step no it is it is and I for me um, I think expression is the only way we will be connected. Um, either we share when we got hurt. You know, this time, even I prefer like that life we, s we used to write later. Mm. Because before. nowadays, see, during the mobile SMS, you, you are not going to write anything 
expressionist. Yes, like it's this. going to be just like, you know, more uh, mm -hmm. mechanic, like, oh, I'm going to come yeah, here, come there. True. And um, and I think that is um, declining in our society. And I and really wanted time, to revive yeah. it. At the time, also, like, later, it's going to be, like, posted and you have to go courier. So mm. it's only one place you get. You write everything yes. whatever you want to write. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I, I really enjoyed and treasured what I shared with my father. And uh, during this, this year has been a very, um, I, I, I mean, I, I spent some time looking inward and trying mm -hmm. to, you know, mm -hmm. um, analyze. And I, I didn't know all this time, like, why am I so close to my father? And I realized that he understood me and I understood him. Even though we didn't speak openly, like, you know, in mm -hmm. any other uh, uh, family in Manipur. I realized it's because of the communication we had. That's true. <laughs> Even you know, like it's almost a one month. I've been waiting, waiting. Ki. Yeah, but I know that you have a lot of feeling for your mother and you want to connect to her. But when you speak, you're not able to. And I'm yeah, sure your true. mother feels the same. I so <laughs> please try it and let me know how Definitely. it comes out. And Definitely. like I said, like each of my work, like I have been telling people, it's not like I'm showing off my work, but Everything I have done, I did it at a very intense moment. And you are an artist, so you would know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and I want to invite you to contribute one of your painting because um, I think um, through this medium of greeting card, we can promote our own people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we don't have, I think, um, I mean, we I have seen calendars and things like that, but everybody send greeting card but we don't really have our own product and i want to uh, you know have the work of our people that's a good thing yeah <laughs>